Good evening, everyone. Okay, I apologize for not being able to stream last week. However, I did have a few issues going on, uh, not the least of which I was not feeling at my best. I seem to have had some kind of an allergy attack last week, so... As you can probably tell, my nose is still a little stuffed up, but I felt well enough that I could actually deliver a proper quality stream to you guys. So I am back, but I do apologize for the hiatus, even though it was only a week long. And I apologize for the radio silence on Twitter. I have been undergoing a lot of stuff on the IRL side of my life. And hi, Mochi. Why do you always have to come over here when I start the stream? It's always when I start. As soon as I get started with the gaming part of it, like, they leave me alone for the most part. But as soon as I start streaming, they all have to come up here and are just like, Ooh, what are you doing? I want to see. And Mochi, why are you in the way? I cannot... <laughs> I cannot see the monitor with your big fluffy booty in the way. <laughs> yes, yes, you have a very fuzzy butt, Mochi. I don't know why you have to put it in my face. <laughs> yes, you are cute. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're going to try to get back into Dark Cloud today. And I am trying to ignore the big heaping, uh, quote-unquote, elephant in the room. Even though this is quite obviously not an elephant, it is much too small to be an elephant. <laughs> Although she has the presence of an elephant. Especially with that big, gray, fluffy rear end that is right in my face. God dang it. <laughs> I am going to have to remove you. <laughs> okay, bye kitty. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, she's laying down now. Okay, so hopefully we no longer have... Uh, Kitty Batukas in my face and in my in front of my monitor for the rest of the stream. Mm. Good heavens. Every single time, I swear. <laughs> I love you, Mochi, but you're a troll. You are very much a troll. And you are a troll that is licking my hand now. God dang it. Uh... Okay, back to the game. We're gonna be playing some more Dark Cloud because we... Managed to finish the uh, shipwreck dungeon in the last episode that we did. So, <laughs> oh boy, we are going to be going on now to Brown Boo Village to return the moon orb to them. So, let me go ahead and see if I can get this game up and running. Okay, for once, the audio actually does not seem to be that bad. If you guys have difficulty hearing the audio from the game, please let me know. Uh, it seems like it's okay. But anyway, back to the IRL stuff that I've been go having going on. As you know, I have finished my first draft of my my fantasy novel. I have actually submitted it to a professional editor to uh, be looked at. And hopefully that means that very soon I will be able to submit it for queries and barring a offer from a legitimate, um, what is it? <laughs> from an agent, then more than likely I might just decide to go the publishing route, the self-publishing route. Because I actually am in the middle of developing an author website. And we are back at Brown Boo Village because we have the moon orb. I cannot get over how peaceful this music is. Like this is the kind of music that I can just chill in a hammock and relax to. Yes, this is the one! We can move the moonship! Shall we go now? Why do I feel like this is gonna go pants up? <laughs> Way up! Make it around here. He's gonna fall off the roof, isn't he? Here we go, are you ready? 
Toto Chap Rum Mandarina Lucky Cookie Zucchini What the flip kind of a spell was Why is it working? How? <laughs> For the love of humanity, how is that working? <laughs> Suspense of disbelief. Nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? What's going on? Hmm? What the? Hey. Where's my ship? Where's my ship, mofo? I'm gonna have to break some kneecaps, aren't I? Kuma, get the bat. <laughs> Not work. No duh, Sherlock. <laughs> Moonship is now reacting to the orb. Could be that something's gone wrong with the sun and moon temple. I... I don't know. Well then, why would you make the suggestion? Bama Lumba Hama Lumba. I feel like I want to name a character in a book that now. That is a very funny name. Hame Lumba Bamba Lumba. <laughs> if anybody finds out that I neglected our duty, I'll be dismissed. To do something where we go, we can't stay here. Deported, probably. Where are we gonna deport you to? The moon? You don't have a ship to go on! <laughs> Like, it's so easy. I haven't a clue what to do. You guys don't know anything, do you? Let's just keep on talking, huh? We have to go to that sun and moon temple. Oh, then let's go. Who's this again? Not a clue. Yeah, you guys don't know Jack. <laughs> Daniels. Moonship <laughs> ship is stored in the deepest part of the temple. It really is hard for me to have to ask you to such a thing, but I have work to do. As mayor of the village, Theo will accompany you. Wait, hold it up! There's no work to do as mayor of the village. At least take <laughs> He's sending his crony <laughs> with us. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> I entered the Sunday Moon Temple in its periphery on your world map. Now shall we go? And we vanish in a flash of pretty lights. I do like the music for this town. The Sun and Moon Temple. Hmm. It's very quiet. Perhaps a little too quiet. You can enter from here, let us go. Danger inside the temple. What the? And who is this tall, dark, mysterious stranger? Do you want to stay alive? Turn back. Now. You know something, eh? What happened in this temple? This temple is full of monsters. The evil from the sky did it, there's no doubt. The village too, he destroyed it. His evil strong, no one can defeat it. Well, I think we know who that is. Muskalaka. Muskalaka is the village of sand warriors, west of this temple. I, uh... <laughs> now let's see, Ungaga is his normal name. Now what shall we name this tall, dark, mysterious warrior? Hmm. I... I don't know why, but for some reason the name Dolly sticks out to me. I have no idea why, but for some reason this name just is jumping out at me. Very much so. 
So he shall be Dolly. I'm Dolly. I'm not a very strong warrior. Couldn't protect the village. It was my responsibility. I am the only one who survived. It's so shameful. I know that name. The name of the strongest of the Sand Warriors. We're not cool at all. I'm weak. Too weak. Come on, let's go together with Dolly with us. We'll have nothing to worry about. I'm no warrior. If I go, I'll be useless. I won't be a burden. I won't go. I think somebody has severe self-esteem issues now. Could you please go take a look in the temple on your own? Can't just leave a person in this state alone. So Theo's gonna stay with Dolly while we investigate the temple. Now, I did not get a chance to actually go in and do some grinding as I would normally do. However, I did manage to uh, upgrade Ophelia's weapon to the Divine Beast title. Finally, she actually got a really good weapon. However, I do have a little bit of a ways to go in order to get her uh, actually legitimately in a good position to use it. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and have Kuma use this first last judgment. Just because I kind of want to use this for um, essentially, like, obviously, uh, breaking it into a sense sphere. But at the same time, I can also use this to... Start, I can, I'm probably going to attach it to the Divine Beast title at some point. For the boost in power and uh, mimic breaking. I'm hoping that I can find a few more mimic breakers. This is a very interesting... Um, what is it? This is a very interesting theme for the Sun and Moon Temple. It's, it's not my favorite, but it's still a solid track. Now let's see what we can do. We're not going to have as much time as I would north. God dang it. Die, darn you. Okay, so I need a key to get in there. Like I said, not the not my favorite track in the game, but it's still a solid music. You die. <laughs> oh, I forgot the treasure chests in here are a royal pain because they blend in with the floor even more so than the wooden ones on the shipwreck. And do I have holy water? I do have holy water. Get that curse off me. See? That's what I think of your curse. I think it's a load of hooey. Bye. <laughs> now see, when I... The annoying thing is I cannot go back to the shipwreck and do training the way that I did at the Wise Owl Forest. Because the annoying thing is that the one f the floor that you can get a lot of good training in on the shipwreck is un 
unfortunately the one that's a limited floor, which reduces ABS. So I'm <laughs> The game basically screwed me out of that training spot by basically making it impossible to use it. Because it reversed the effect of all of the training. Which, in my personal opinion, is a load of bunk. But unfortunately, that's just the... That's just the really bad RNG that I got out of that. Okay, now, where is... There it is. Yeah, as you can see, the treasure chests here are a little... Annoying. Nope. There we go. King Slate. So that is our key for this du particular dungeon. Now, let's see. I could add some more beasts to this thing. Okay. Okay. Well, we're not doing too bad. Now see, my big hope though with the book is that I can actually like make my author's website legitimately good and then make use of it to help me get a deal with an agent. Now granted, it's probably not going to help me much, but at the same time... Nope. Get away from me. I'm really starting to not like these things. Wonder if I can. Wonder what I'll get if I actually like blow them up. I feel like mimics are gonna be a huge problem in this dungeon. Like, that's just my gut instinct. I'm hoping that I am wrong, but ooh, some more ice. I can make use of that. Oop. I think I killed that thing in like the worst possible position. Okay. <laughs> it's gone. But it's it like, please tell me that thing's going to leave. Okay, so I have enough repair powders that I can go further into the dungeon. So we're going to try to do a, two or three floors at least before we have to go back up and start making our way to the next town. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I did not get very much ABS on this weapon. <laughs> Repair powder. Uh. And the bomber head. I completely forgot about these schmucks. As you obviously can tell, they have a tendency to go kablooey. Just like that one did. Which, in my personal opinion, is a load of hooey. No, not my money! Now see, I'm... I'm already... I've already got the key, so I'm not too concerned with these schmucks. However, I do want to get the Atla from this...
No, let me out. Okay, there we go. Restore everybody's health and get away from the bombs. I do not want to be near the bomb. Bombs go kaboom. I don't like it a kaboom. I only like it a kaboom when I make it a kaboom. No, go away. Me no like you. <sighs> All right, so I got a couple more apple to go, and since I have the key already, I don't have to worry about beating any more of these guys up. Especially considering this floor reduces my weapons experience. So, I kind of want to avoid reducing it any more than it already is. Uh, let's see, mini totem pole. Where is the treasure chest? Okay. Ah, get away from me! Leave me alone! Uh, uh. Oh my god, this is gonna be so annoying. With this tre with these treasure chests looking exactly like the floor. Like I'm sorry, but that's just like the biggest irritant. Which is gonna make fighting mimics in this dungeon the biggest pain in the butt. <laughs> but the nice thing is, now that I don't have to worry about beating these guys up, I Mm, there goes my dragon's feather. Replacement! But I don't have to worry about beating them up, which means I can save on my repair powders. Which means we can go do one more floor before we actually go in the Muskalaka proper. Now, nah, get away from me! I do not need you, mummy. I have a mummy already. She's back home. Ugh. This is what you get when you watch my streams. You get bad puns. <laughs> bad puns galore. Oh, thank goodness. There it is. I am at a four-way crosswalk. And that is a pink beam. Which suggests... Holy power. Got it. I will say that the aiming mechanic on her uh, um, <laughs> weapon when you do it from the hit from that way is such a pain. Because the controls are reversed. At least on the y-axis, the reversed. So if I want to aim up, I gotta tilt the, the analog stick down as much sense as that makes. Oh my god, Mimic! Evil Mimic! Why is there an evil Mimic? I hate mimics. It's like I want it's like I want treasure, and I don't get treasure. Instead I get this obnoxious little tool. That get away from me. Didn't I not just kill you? Bad mummy, stay down. Ah! This is gonna be my life, isn't it? For the rest of this dungeon. Mimics galore. Ooh, got a sign. Why are there so many of these idiots? You know what? You guys wanna 
You guys want to play like that? Nope. Ha! We can play like that. There we go. Okay, your incessant buzzing was getting on my nerves. <sighs> ice gem. What am I going to do with an ice gem other than sell it? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Next port of call. Oh my god. Ophelia, you're up. Come on. You know what? Fudge you! Oh, thank god, not a mimic. And... That is most definitely a mimic. I did not realize I could get repair powders from Mimics. That is... Will you stop reviving and die? <laughs> Stay down, you're like a cockroach. You are like an irritating little cockroach. Goodbye, mommy. Goodbye, mummy. So many evil mummy. But now the mummy dead. Okay. And we got a cabin. I knew it. I knew there was gonna be a frickin' nip. Okay. Now I'm... Now, of course. Of course it's the last enemy that had the key. And it was a mimic. Well, I suppose he did have treasure, finally. At least one of them had treasure. Brooks House. Uh, let's see. Betty Totem Pole. Okay, so we have that. We don't really have much else, though, besides that for the houses. Which is admittedly a little annoying. Because I do want to at least get an actual person before we go to Muskalaka. You would think that by the third floor I would have gotten at least one person, but instead I just got two houses. A bunch of cabins, a bunch of totem poles. Alright, so we're gonna go... We're gonna keep going. And now we get to see these two bond. Come on, Dolly, what's happened to you? I heard that Dolly is the strongest warrior in the whole Muska Desert. Maybe he used to be, but not anymore. He failed to protect village. He's no longer a warrior. He's weak now. That's not good. You know what? Being strong on the ba Oh my god, the, gla the translation errors. Being strong on the battlefield and being truly strong as a person are not the same, are they now? What do you think of uh, the one who was with me? What do I think? I don't understand. I sense something very strong from that person. Like a will, a power deep within him, in his heart. I don't know exactly what it is. Yes, Olin is strong. I am weak. Oh, brother. 
Quit beating yourself up, or I will beat you up. I'll get Kuma to whack you with a hammer. Okay. We're already four levels into this dungeon. Oh, my lanta. You could be a problem. You, go away. What makes you think I wanted you instead? You are very rude. However, golems are very good at being at giving a lot of experience, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. There we go. And... How many of these are going to be mimics? Ooh, I got the ball. And I found a mimic. I knew at least one of these little son of the guns was going to be a mimic. Go away. Ah! See, I do not want to... I have learned very quickly that I do not want to be near those guys when I kill them. And... Ah! Ow. Okay. I get repair powder from those guys, too. Oh, thank God. What is with the mimics? I don't understand why. Go away. Nobody wants you. Are there any Atla in here? Oh, there are. Okay. I want to get this Macho Sword. Like, up. To a, like, to a decent level before I, so I can break it down. We're not playing that game today. And... Got it. Ooh. Can I please not have a mimic? Oh, thank you! Ooh, stamina drink. Actually, make use of that uh, eventually. Trees, I don't need more trees. <laughs> I don't need more. <laughs> Is it truly that difficult to get an actual person? Oh, thank goodness. There is actually somebody around. Look, one-eyed warrior with a strong heart.
Nope. Die, please. Ooh, I got an endurance. Why does my money keep decreasing? I don't want my money to leave me. Yo, I am no longer rich. Why? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. But we do have one person. However, I I kind of want one of the sisters from the three sisters house. Because they're the ones that we need. <sighs> and we have a limited floor. was anticlimactic. Whoa! I mean, I will say this. He's very good at his job, which is smashing things. <laughs> People can say what they want about Kuma, but that man can freaking smash some stuff. Now, what is in here? Nothing. Just one stupid mummy. And I think I might have to actually leave once we're done here because I'm down to my last trans feather. <laughs> and apparently there is nothing but a crap ton of mimics in here. Yep. Nothing but a of mimics which I do not want oh wow we actually have a we have a legit large chest I have two treasure chest keys so I'm gonna make use of them and I get a bone rapier that was anticlimactic Bring it. Let me out. Dang it. Die. I got an anti-curse amulet after being cursed. However much sense that makes. <sighs> uh. Ooh, a holy. You know what? The only reason I'm gonna beat the stuffing out of you it's because I want that. <laughs> there. And I don't really care much for that last treasure chest or the last enemy. Okay.
we are going to go out here at long last and finally try to do something with this town. Now, do we have it on the map? Okay, so now we're in Muscaraca. Okay. So. There is a lot of empty space here, and I see a treasure chest that I definitely want. Ooh, fishy! I got fish candy! Ophelia, we found your tree! And we got her boosted with the defense. Now, what be this place? inside this house just to double check. Ooh, looks like I was right to come in and check. <gasps> A gourd. We got gourd. Just over there. Brooke, nice to meet you. You're from Northern Village, right? I can tell easily. I should at least request the pole guardian. Dude, that's a storage cabin. I have many things that I have to stash there. So we can finally get rid of one of these annoying cabins that we have. Over here. Fluffy Donut. My favorite. Alright, so. Brooke wants the storage cabin. So now we can go into his house and see if there's anything worth swiping. Swiper, no swiping. 
And all he's got is a fluffy fruit fruit of Eden. But I suppose that's better than nothing. back to Queens and acquire us some more items. <sighs> now see that Jax is the Actually, I may have gone to the wrong town, but there's not really much that I can get. Yeah, I think I'm better off going to, uh, back to Norun Village to get me some repair powders. Okay, and that also gives me a chance to unload some of these unnecessary items. No, nope. I do kind of want that still. I don't need any, I don't need all those stand-in powders. Nor do I need all of these amulets. Nor do I need all that. Grab a few of those. And we're gonna save real quick because only you can prevent lost save data. And then we're gonna go back to the Sun and Moon Temple. Because we most definitely want to continue going on. We need more people in that town. Which, at the moment, we have one. A grand total of one. First enemy and I get the key. <laughs> nice. I like it, the fire. Ooh, there's one room over there to the other side. Hey! That's all I get out of that? Hey! An oasis. I mean, that's probably good for a desert town, right? Big chest. Hopefully something good is in it. More hay. What am I gonna do with hay? Well, I can finish Brooks house with it. And we get a chopper. And a useless thunder gem. And a more useful stone key, and oh my god, I'm about to get hit. Nope. Good night. Uh, what can I get out of the chopper? A little bit of thunder, some undead, metal, and mage. Ooh. That actually might prove useful. What does the man-eater need to get up? 
Uh, we need MP, Ice, Wind, and Dino. And I don't have any wind stuff. What the? Uh, sorry about that. The cat was making this weird sound. I don't really, I can't really get anything out of the bone rape here. I might just get rid of that. Since don't really get anything useful out of it other than a minor thing of ice. Um, okay. This Macho Sword is very annoying when it comes to endurance. Okay. Devia, we finally have one of the sisters. Middle child of the three sisters. Nope. Doesn't like her baby sister. It's an older sister and a baby sister. Yes, we absolutely must have the three sisters. Good riddance. Nope. Not today. I'm almost there. Hopefully this thing will hold out long enough for me to get another uh, upgrade out of it. Actually, I might just opt for... making use of... No, I don't want to do nothing. I might make use of Ophelia's talents. this thing. And the one item that we have right, so we'll add the bone rapier next. making decent progress for this dungeon so early. Unfortunately cannot leave yet as I still have one more Atla to get. But I suppose on the bright side I can make use of Ophelia's um <laughs> Weapon. Oh, that's right, I need to re equip this <laughs> weapon. Because 
because otherwise he's going to be walking around with a whole load of nothing. Okay. We'll do one more floor, and then we'll see about... Oh, we got more stuff. More. More lore. Dolly, can I ask you something? I'm listening. Dolly, you are a warrior. What does a warrior fight for? I made an oath to fight Mikala, but I failed to save Mikala. Mikala, Dolly, is she the one you care for? Mikala is my fiance. I loved her. Mikala is dead. She disappeared with the village. Oh, I see. So that's why you are so down. Well, let me tell you. I assure you Mikala is alive. Is, is that true? Probably. Oh, look! A shooting star! Lucky Cookie Zucchini! Eh, <laughs> what is it with them and the Lucky Cookie Zucchini thing? How are zucchinis lucky? And why would you make a cookie out of one? That seems foolish. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I might have to actually do some legit training with this thing. In order to get it. So I think for now, we're going to swap to Ophelia and make use of her talents from long range. I dropped the bomb. Ooh, and I got a repair powder. I will not say no to a free repair powder. I mean, who'd be crazy enough to say no to that? Oh my god, it's a mimic. Go away. Ain't nobody wants your old bud over here. So we can probably make use of Kuma as well. There's the exit. And there's the mimic. There's the key! I find it, it did, did the key! And I'm guessing that my egg. Yep, thought so. Dead dang it. There's the stone key that I needed. And you. Leave. Nobody likes a mimic. Nobody. You hear me? You know what? I just realized I forgot to buy Dran's feathers. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> now see, before I would get Dran's feathers from... I think either Mimics or King Mimics. But, obviously, the Mimics here do not drop those. Which is probably going to prove to be a royal pain in the tokens. Ooh, we got a free bomb. I will not say no to free bomb. What the? You are ugly. But you are also dead, so therefore I do not care. I care not for you, Krabby Crab. Can I get at least another system? Odds and ends. That does not sound like the name of a system. Tree. That is definitely not the name of a system. What is this? So I'm probably going to have to go back to the village and see what I can do on that end. Oh boy. Road. 
Yes, clearly I needed a road. And there we go. And we got a lot of got a lot of that nonsense going on. Another sandbreaker. Glorious. Just what I always wanted. No, not really. Ooh, Ophelia is actually going to be very useful right here. I knew it. The Mimic Room. This is the Mimic Room. How dare it. Let's see, we need more MP, more ice. Undead and Mimic. How do you need more Mimic than me? Alright, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, I think that's going to work. Wait, now that I think about it... Yeah, the Bone Reaper is actually good for getting magic. I completely forgot about that. That actually might prove useful. And what's her weapon it got equipped? Okay. And we get more goodies. And a petite fish. Hmm. I had a feeling. Yep, goodbye. Okay. Get out of here. We're going to leave the dungeon temporarily. Want to do some searching real quick. Ooh, there are goodies here. Got Stonebreaker, another gourd, which will probably come in handy very soon. Ooh, and there's more over here. An anti-goo amulet. Ooh, something I can sell. Nice. can go to Brooke's house and see just what kind of shenanigans this guy has in store for us. Oh, there you are. Today I have something I want to tell you. Come over here. When I first saw you, I knew right away who you were. You were the son of the warrior Aga. Wait, hold up, Lore? Aga once came to Muskalaka. When I first saw him, I sensed something special in him. Aga was an amazing man. Something about him drew everyone to his side, just like you now. He fought well, especially with swords. He told me he was making a journey to find an amazing treasure. I don't know if he found it or not, but when he visited here again, he left the golem Goske here. He said you were on a quest to defeat the Dark Genie. <clears throat> Your father left you a tip for defeating him. I think Aga knew this day would come. The entire purpose of his journey could have been for exactly that. I really believe that's true. I have faith in you. You can do it. 
Yes, I really do believe you can defeat the Dark Genie. Take this. <laughs> Ooh, attack plus three. And I do have a stock of some up here. Not much, though. Take them on your adventure. But I have to charge you for them. I have to earn a living, you know. So we do have a shop now. Not much of a shop, but... <laughs> still a shop. And a stonebreaker is actually might come in handy, now that I think about it. And I no longer need the petite fish, because I'm not focusing on fishing right now. And I still got plenty of repair powders. Nice. So we got something out of this anyway. And... Hey, little boy. Hiya, I'm Devia, the middle sister of the three sisters. Nice to meet you. Well, I feel bad because Nagita always forces Mikara to go draw water. So you put it near the oasis. So don't forget the pole guardian. Do install a cabin, it's just for storage space, but it would really help. Alright. So we have one item. So we want to put the oasis near their house. And we have just enough trees to get the oasis going. I know I saw another one of these over here. Okay. So I think we have time for one, maybe two more floors. And then we'll call it a day. How'd you get in here so fast? We seem to be on terms, but on bad terms, but the truth is, we are on bad terms. <laughs> At least one of them is honest <laughs> about how they feel about each <laughs> I, I actually can appreciate that. Debbie is now officially my favorite of the three sisters. <laughs> Tell it like it is, sister. And we get a witch parfait for Shion. And hopefully soon we can come across a grass cake. Which would be kind of handy. Alright, so we'll do a couple more floors and then see what we can get out of this. Ooh, we got a lot of Atla in here. I'm definitely going to have to do some off-screen grinding here. A yellow beam. So yellow should theoretically be thunder. Alright, so... There we go. Quit blocking and go boom. There, you went boom. All right. There we go. 
Hmm. Interesting. Where do these paths go? So many treasure chests in this dungeon. It makes me worry about mimics. Haha. <laughs> I blow it you up. <laughs> Prisoner cabin. you around when you go boom. Let's see. Let's see. I need a key. Which I do not have at the moment. So we're gonna have to get one. And I'm pretty sure there's probably an Atla in there. Kaboom. Up, oh, there it is. Now what's over here? Surprisingly not a mimic. There is an apple in there. Well, I guess I'm going back. <laughs> Cause I gotta get that. Good thing I found it here and not at the very opposite end of the floor. No! our ticket to the back floor. There are certain floors in this dungeon that will be very use that, that will be very useful for. Nagita, we got another of the three sisters. The bell of Muska the mean the eldest. <laughs> Let's see. Prisoner cabin. Not a resident but totally settled in. Oh no. Totally settled in. That suggests that he's probably in prison or something. Probably doing something stupid. Because when have you ever heard of somebody going to prison for something not stupid? Thankfully, there is a uh, water of over here. Which means I, oh my god, you were way too close. Go away. Huh. Ooh! I got not one, but two in the same floor? I... I can appreciate that. That'll definitely help later on. And we got the other sister. I think. Only but kind. The youngest sister. Why does it look like that girl has a beard? <laughs> I 
Why? That, I'm sorry, but that's just kind of disturbing, in my personal opinion. Okay, so now... Ah, get away from me! Evil. Evil bomb. I will have to go and see which floors exactly have the uh, useful amounts of stuff for training. That way I can actually make use of those. Did it just say G His hose <laughs> believes he's handsome. <laughs> oh dear heavens. He's one of those Gaston types. <laughs> I can already tell I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> yep, needs a, ca a path key. So, with any luck, I can actually go in to the town and hopefully get our wayward warrior out of this slump he's in. Because I have his fiance now. And what was that? Okay, I thought there was a cat underneath me for a second. Because I heard something underneath the desk. Okay. Prisoner cabin. Jibu's house. Where do I want to put that? Okay, so that is actually going to go on the other side of the three sisters' house. Ooh, Dino Slayer. And an antidote amulet. Well, I've never seen you before. Aha, I see it's you, the boy you hear about stirring things up. My name is Jibubu. Pleasure to meet you. I don't care if your name is Jidoobadoobadoo. What do you want? Let's keep the custom of the pole guardian. That's the chief about the details. You place the hay for the roof by the house. Oh, and don't forget about the totem. Okay, so I could theoretically finish his house. However, I want to double check with the other sisters. What do you want from this village? I'm Nagita, the eldest of three sisters. Don't you forget that. Well, I, I can already tell I don't like you. Then I guess it'd like to be near the oats laces. It'd be easier to draw water for it. I'd then draw the water. Ha <laughs> ha! Put up many of my dresses in my odds and in case that I always place up on top of the roof. Don't forget that. Okay, so she needs odds and ends. And we need to find the other sister. There's Devia. And there's Mikala. Look at the Muskala. I'm Mikala, the baby of the three sisters. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yep, so they all wanted it near the oasis. We should keep the tradition of the Polgar, and I don't want that to have anything bad happen to us. Awesome. That means I can officially end this. And, theoretically, I could also end 
Yoshi Boo Boo's troubles. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to G. Oh. What in the world is this fool doing? Why? I don't understand, but why? Why? Oh. You're acting like the old man from uh, the forest village, Marataki. Come to my house, return to Noah. I just felt, felt like screaming, so why don't you come in? I don't know. You, you scare me, dude. I really appreciate this. Thanks to you, now I can live my ordinary life again. This is to show my gratitude. Ooh, Fruit of Eden. That's actually a good item. By the way, have you noticed something seems wrong here? The aesthetic sense they have here in Muskelock is not very good. That dolly is regarded as handsome and desirable. I'm regarded as plain looking? Shouldn't they take a better look at me? I mean, come on. What is the definition of beauty anyway? Does such a thing really exist? No, because it's derived from people's personal views. Therefore, the one who is seen as beautiful by more people is beautiful. Oh no. I got a... I got a philosophical... Oh dear heavens, what are you doing? Uh, why? Dude. Get the f down from there. Before I have to go up there and kick you down. And trust me, you don't want me to be the one to kick you down. Because I will not be gentle about it. Ugh. You fool. Now, uh, let's see. I do kind of want to see what's over here. An undead busker. Ooh. Another fruit of Eden. So let's see what the three sisters have in store for us. Alden, welcome. Pretty sharp, kid. Come to collect his reward already. Sorry, can't help you. I'll give you some candy, dear. How dare you! I didn't come here for that. Don't be mean. Oh, did you hear that? Here we go again. The car has got this bad habit of vilifying people. Didn't mean it that way. I Stop it, both of you. You two are always fighting. <gasps> it's the da 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 dolly Uh-oh, not this guy again. I'm really glad you're still with us. I really am. I'm happy too, Dolly. He's not here. No mushy stuff. Ali, you tell me. Why Mikara? I'm better at everything than Mikara, so why not me? Oh, dear. That's why she's upset with her little sister, because she got the handsome guy in the village. There are things Mikara does better than you, Nikita, so she's who I want to be with. Let me ask you something. What does Mikara do better than me, exactly? Okay, I'll tell you all. <laughs> and then the middle sister. It was a year ago. I was stung by a scorpion. This is it. I've finished a scorpion sting. What's the matter, Mr. Dolly? Are you alright? Nagita, scorpion got me. I won't live much longer. I'll call the doctor right away. Stay here. I'm. Hey, Nagita, don't want to die this way. Why is he holding his stomach? Is he suggesting that the scorpion got him in the stomach? Wouldn't it have, like, gotten his foot? Master Dolly, what are you doing here? The scorpion got me. I'll die soon. It's my last wish. By dying, Dolly. Oh my god, the alliteration. Oh! And she slapped him straight up. Smack! You're the strongest warrior in the desert. Who will protect Muskalaka when you're gone? has some severe issues. We need you here in Muskalaka, and I need you too. Huh? 
She's sucking the poison out of his wound. I feel like I'm watching an episode of City Slickers. <laughs> what the heck? When she became infected, Carl was dying and fought for three days. She risked her life to save me. So that's what happened. Hmm. Yep. I n could never have acted as bravely as you did. Aww. The love story is concluded. Take me with you and we'll beat that evil wizard. I understand now what Theo was trying to say. I forgot this. Real strength doesn't come from your fist. It comes from your heart. Ali will try once more to become the strongest of warriors. And we now have our next party member. I'll be with Makar for just a while, then you go ahead, I'll catch up. And that's why I was hoarding those gourds and fruits of Eden. Couldn't help overhearing outside. Dolly's back to normal. I really wanted Dolly to get back to his old self. No, it's okay. I'll say goodbye to Dolly from here. If we talk too much, it may be hard for me to go back. It's the end of my mission. So long. And with that, he goes back home. I almost forgot. To enter the last chamber where the moon ship is kept, you need both the sun signet, which is kept by sand warriors, <laughs> In the moon signet, which we moon people control. I believe that the sun signet has been handed down for years to village chiefs. The problem is, the moon signet, which was supposed to be kept by us, Nim doesn't like little hassle, so he left it with the sand warriors so they could manage the entire temp. What a lazy bum! Managing a tomb is hard work. So we need both signets in order to get... <laughs> in order to get into the last chamber. Which means we're probably going to have to complete the town. Fighting stick. Okay, so now I can actually go in here. Let's see, so 130 across the board. Which means... I can get everyone else up to 140. There we go. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I need 5 gourds for him to get his thirst meter up. So one whole row of gourds. And then I can drop the last two on Alden and Ophelia. There we go. Awesome. That should be enough to put us in a proper spot. Which means we can go ahead and call that a stream, everyone. Alright, so chances are I'm going to go off stream and do some training. Try to get some of these weapons built up and actually, like, broken down into sense spheres. And with any luck, I might be able to find a legit weapon for uh, Dolly. <laughs> So that he's not fighting with a pathetic, weak little fighting stick. Okay, so let's see. Who can we go in and... Uh, let's see. Who can we raid today? We got some Jump King, Team Fortress, Honkai, Star Rail, Warframe, Starfield, World of Warcraft, Plate Up. 
Phasmophobia. Light. Da, 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 da. Let's see. I think we'll go check out Star Rail. Yeah, let's go watch some Star Rail tonight. I think that'll be a good option. So I'm going to go ahead and get the raid set in. And I hope all of you have a very good night. I want to thank all of you for kind of like being here and hanging out with me tonight after my <laughs> uh, <laughs> after my brief hiatus so again thank you everyone uh, we'll probably be doing some wild arms on Saturday actually no on Saturday I think I might be doing a I might be joining uh, Nariko for some Among Us. As long as the event doesn't get canceled because they were talking about possibly moving it. But uh, anyway, thank you all very much for being here. And let me... Okay, got to get this in. And that is not what I was trying to do. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get this raid done, and I will probably see you all on Saturday. But until that time, this is Alden Fudry signing off for the evening. Farewell.